Yet another witness, a rescue worker, says after she talked with an agent at the bombing scene, she also suspected the ATF was warned and agents stayed away from their office that morning. I asked him if his office was in the building, and he said yes, and I asked if there were any ATF agents that were still in the building, and he said no, we weren't here. Witness number one approached an ATF agent nearby. He claims he asked the agent what had happened, and witness number one says this is what the agent told him. He uh, started getting a little bit nervous. He tried reaching somebody on a two-way radio. Uh, couldn't get anybody, and I told him I wanted an answer right then. He said they were in the briefing. None of the agents had been in there. They had been tipped by their pagers not to come into work that day. Plain as day out of his mouth. They were tipped. Why wasn't anybody else? There was a lot of people, good people, died down there. And if they knew, they should have let everybody else know. Agents forewarned about a bomb in Oklahoma City. Did they know the Murrow building was a target? The ATF says no, absolutely not. But tonight in a story you'll see only on the news channel, you're about to hear otherwise from people who were at the Murrow building that morning. We are asking simple questions and we can't get any answers, so it makes us that much more curious, you know. Where, where, where the hell were they? The news channel did ask for a private meeting with ATF officials to discuss the credibility of these witness reports. But the ATF refused, saying they had no more to say on the subject.